Welcome back to our discussion today on magnetism. This is your favorite program, The Science Hub, where you get to watch and learn. In our last discussion, we got to learn more about ways of magnetizing a, a material, That's, that is creating magnets. And in today's lesson, we shall learn more about ways of, magneti ways of determining the polarity of a magnet. And so there are two ways of determining, that there are two rules that are used in determining the, el, polarity. the polarity of a magnet. These include the clock rule and the, and the right hand grip rule, which my colleagues shall expound more on them. <clears throat> on the right hand grip rule, we are told that when a coil carrying current, like this one, the solenoid carrying current, is held, such that the fingers point the direction of the current, therefore the thumb points towards the north pole, like as I'm going to do. In this case, the current is moving in following the red wire, then it's moving in this direction. Yes, it's moving in this direction, this direction. So it means that when we use the right hand grip rule, I should hold it such that the fingers are pointing the direction of the current, therefore this end becoming the North Pole. So if this end is the North Pole, we had said earlier that a magnet has two poles, and one pole is the North Pole, and the other one is the South Pole. So if one is North Pole, then this one automatically will become the South Pole. And it is going to tell us more on the clock rule. So on the clock, uh, clock rule, it is said that on viewing one, one hand, that is, uh, or in case you are using this, this uh, experiment of electrical experiment on viewing one end of the of the material that or the or the electronoid on viewing of uh, in uh, one of the end and then the current you see the current the direction of the, of the current is in a clockwise clockwise movement then that end you are observing that is the south pole and then on the other hand, on viewing one of the end of the of the electronoid, and then the current, and then the current seems to to be all coming in a anticlockwise direction. Then that end you are viewing that is a north pole. Yeah. And also to show the right hand grip rule by diagram form, we are shown that when we hold a solenoid carrying current such that the fingers are pointing towards the direction of the current therefore the thumb points to the direction of the north pole as it's shown so if this was my solenoid then I hold it like this the thumb points towards the north pole and if this is north pole automatically this will become the south pole so, so to, to, before we go to that yeah. so to, to emphasize on the right arm grip rule let's give an example this is my electronoid, and then I have my solenoid. So, to indicate the direction of the current, the current can be moving upwards, so that if the current is going upwards, then it means that it's going to, to, to go downwards, and then at this point, it will be facing upwards, 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 upwards. Is that at the other end the current will be downwards. So at this case, at the, we, we do not know the polarity of the electronoid. So to determine the, the polarity of this electronoid, which we are we have we have magnetized or we are magnetizing, we use two rules which we have mentioned. Which one of them is the right hand grip rule, whereby we have we have said that on 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 gripping or touching the electronoid with the fingers 
pointing to the direction of the current, then the thumb points to the north pole. For, for, for an instance, at this case, the current is going this direction, upward, upward. So, using your right hand, you grip the solenoid, you, you, yeah, the, solen the solenoid with your right hand, with the fingers coiling or facing to the direction of the current. At this case, the anode uh, pole will be, will be at, at this point. Because the rule states that on touching the solenoid with the fingers uh, facing the direction of the current, then the thumb points to the north pole. So, therefore, this is our north pole. And uh, if this is our north pole, <coughs> automatically the other end this will be south pole. Yeah. So, having learned of the two ways of Looking at the polarity of a magnet, we shall also get to know more about the ways and precautions and safety measures of keeping or storing our magnets. For example, in order to store our magnets very well, we should not drop them because this interferes with the dipole, the aligning of the dipoles. This di disorients the dipoles. Also, we should avoid heating, which may colleague. Darrell, he is going to as illustrate. I said, said earlier, when you hit a magnet, you will disturb the dipoles. So if this is an already magnetized material and you hit it, the the dipoles will be disturbed and will be disoriented. And by doing that, the magnet will lose its magnetism. And we're also going to talk about ways of storing a magnet, which Kita is going to emphasize about. So uh, on on storing the magnets, the when you store magnets. On, on store in it, it tends to, to become weak with time because of self, self demagnetization. So, to prevent this, we use, we use a soft iron uh, bus known as keepers, as my friend is going to demonstrate. Okay, we have the keepers. These are the keepers which are stored, which are stored along with the, the, with the magnets. We also have the plastic casing in the middle of the magnet. This prevents this prevents the magnet from de -magnet, self -demagnet, self demagnetization. Yeah. As you see, the the magnets tend to form a complete loop. They form a complete loop. So the magnetic field tends to move in a in a circular manner or in a closed in a closed loop. Yeah. But when in an open state, you will find that there is a process known as self demagnetization where the north pole and the the car, the, mag, the mag, magnetic fields tend to move from the north pole to the south pole and from the south pole to the north pole thus causing self demagnetization yeah so on that point we are going to look at the applications of magnets whereby one of the applications that uh, magnets are used in, uh, in hospitals to remove uh, pieces of iron from the height. We also have magnets that are used to make transformer cores. And magnets are also used in making telephone receivers. Yeah. And also, also to add on that, uh, they are also used in, in uh, loudspeakers. Yeah. Yeah. In yeah loudspeakers. The moving coil loudspeaker. Yeah. yeah. And also in compasses. Yes. Yeah. Like in the needle magnet. Yeah. So you are uh, you are you are uh, you want to mean that they are used. They can a magnet can be used to. To improvise a plotting compass. Yes. Yeah. Uh, magnet can be used to improvise a plotting compass. Yeah. And so, just in our discussion, we on the magnet on the topic of magnetism, we have gotten to learn about the different types of magnets, the ways of magnetizing, the um, magnetic field patterns, and the, also their characteristics. So. That's the end of our discussion for this topic on magnetism from 2. Thank you for watching the program on Elimo TV, the Science Hub.